Hi there, this is Byron with a let's play of the Stone Prophet. I did not find what I was looking for, but I found something else. Oh, that does not look healthy. By the gods, may we be spared from such a fate as this. Wait, listen, some breath yet remains in this dying form. Can you speak? Uh, oh, might we free this soul from his sandy grave, perhaps heal him? Yeah. No. Too late for me. You must go to her. Return. Return. Okay, now we do this. By the gods, may we be spared from uh, such a fate as this. Wait, listen, some breath yet remains in this dying form. Can you speak? Yes. Listen, please. You must save her. Return. Who is it you speak of? Is there another lost in this desert? Listen to me. I have beside me a sack. Supplies for her, my wife. At home, nothing there. No water. Nothing to live. Please return to her. The sack. Too late for me. Do you remember this woman that we met in the village of Muha that told us about her husband that they sent away to appease Anctipat? Well, that actually is him. I believe we have met her, your wife. Her thoughts are with you. The village. Take the supplies. To her, the village Muar. Listen, take nothing from the sack, nothing on your honor. By whatever gods you know, take nothing that she may live. My wife, my dear one. Is there anything more we might do? For me? Too late. <coughs> I sought on to but <coughs> Sorry. To beg forgiveness. The people suffer. The wrath of Octopot must end. Well, what about our fault? It's not our fault. Why didn't you say that? Okay, so we get the sack. What's in it? Okay. Water, a potion, uh, uh, an ointment, a dagger, and a ring of protection. See that sack somewhere is marked. Okay, we will not. Can we talk with him again? We will not take anything from the sack. He is dead, an unfortunate, unfortunate soul already half buried. In time, the sand will cover his body. The desert claims its due. Okay, so let's return the sack to his wife. We're going to mark the spot here. Buried man. Here I stumbled across a ghost, but I can't do anything with it yet. Maybe later on, stupid vulture, go away. So here there's a ghost, see? Again she vanishes, a ghost who tolerates no approach. Perhaps if only we might find a way to hold this vision to her place. But we will deal with her later. Right now we will return to the village and give that wife the sack back. And tell her that her husband has died. Stupid villagers send one alone into the desert. You return. What purpose drives you back here? Harsh as this land is, our words may prove harsher still. We came upon your husband as he lay dying. His last words were of you, pleading that we return these, your supplies. The sand shall be the grave of us all. Oh, my dear, sweet fool. 
my husband. And stranger though you be, you have given me back a chance at life, as would he if only. I shall set my prayers before the gods that you may escape this horrid land. Oh, the fate of strangers in Harakir. Don't worry, we will manage. We can stand our ground. Okay, get out of here. And let's see whether the chief thinks better of us now. That we did something for, you know, his people. Council? No. When evil enters your house, do you that. look to you? Okay. That didn't do anything. Let's return to the desert, I say. So we should go to the north. Come on, where do I want to go? There's the obelisk, okay. Oh, wait a second, what's that? Where's that guy? Dead. No! Stabbing mode off, stupid little bastard. Dead already. Okay. No, off. Okay, here's the obelisk. Oh, I see. Here's another NPC. Let's say hi to him. There. Move not. Allow me to study you for a moment. Ah, fear, but mixed with defiance. Ah, the sweet scent of adventurers on the move. Though the sands of this place have worn and worried your flesh, you are not native to Harakir, nor am I. Does that surprise you? Well, you're half lion, you could belong to the desert. All in all, your appearance is surprising enough. What, uh, who are you? <laughs> who is Raktur? What is Wemmick? Is this your first encounter with one of us? Yes, it is. If so, how sad you have not joined us in battle. Pride, clan, and nation, the Wemmick stand strong. Long ago, I roamed far from my pride to seek my prey in the high mountains. Then the mists came. The land warped and turned about me, becoming somewhere else beneath my feet. The where is here. Here is Harakir. You look as though Harakir has claimed your time for many years. How have you survived? Without help from the villagers. In Muhar, the frightened huddled in whatever shadows they might find. They wanted not my company. I wanted not theirs. Villagers, bah! They do not even make worthy prey. How have I survived? By cunning and skill. But you know this, for they are your tools as well. You're sent to separate you from the villagers, as wolves send apart from sheep. Pardon the asking, but you appear wounded. How did this come about? <sighs> Mistake not wounds for weakness. Each scar I have earned, symbols of courage worn into my flesh. Of these, the most recent came in a battle with desert trolls. I confess, the beasts near to overwhelm me. I would not have escaped without the help of one of their own number. Explain I cannot, but one of the trolls attacked his own fellows. As my knees faltered and blood ran fresh along my face, he set among them a confusion. It allowed my escape. Hmm, you look as if you have lost everything, however brave a face you put on it. 
Would you come along on our adventure? A creature of your heart is worth an army from Harakir. The offer is welcome. My equipment and supplies are scattered, lost to the desert trolls. The most grievous loss was my armor, torn from me in the struggle. Perhaps in your company, I may find the chance to win it back. How does one lose his armor? Justice of the desert, how slow-witted to part with my company. A mistake as grand as any I've seen. You'll think the better of it. When you do, seek me out in the same area where first we met. Should you survive and return, you will have recovered my respect. You will be the wiser and not hesitate to accept my aid. Yeah, so that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching, and we will continue in the next video. So have a nice day.